Good morning. We are looking at praying to the Father like a child. And this morning, I will discuss the topic of love. Now, 1 Corinthians 13.13 13 says, So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. The greatest aspect of all the Christian life is love. Love is to be the foundation of all we do, all that we are, and all that we hold on to. If we focus on love and allow the Holy Spirit to strip away everything else that's left, then our life will be um, a blessed simplicity uh, rooted in the face-to-face -face relationship with our Heavenly Father. As we spend time today looking at the simplicity of love, I pray that all of the weighty, frivolous things of this world that rob you of abundant life will fall away in light of the wonderful goodness of God and His un unconditional and wholly available love for you. We love because He first loved us, 1 John 4.19. The fact that we are pursued by the Creator of the universe is an unfathomable truth perfectly uh, illustrating the amazing love of our Heavenly Father, for the love that He has for us. Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace you have been saved, and through faith, and this is not your doing, but it is a gift of God. So those of us who have believed and have accepted the free gift of salvation have been lifted out of this world's foundation of workspace living and and now we're ushered into a new standard of grace by grace alone we have a wonderful restored relationship with god who passionately pursues us in every season of our life and by grace alone our lives are now based on the unconditional love of a good father first john 4 8 anyone who does not love does not know god because god is love and all that God does is love because that's just his very nature. Every word of scripture was written because he loves us. Every good thing that we have is only available to us because he loves us. The fact that you and I even have air in our lungs is a miraculous demonstration of God's overwhelming faithfulness. The fact that we can enter into such a depth relationship with a perfect holy God reveals his heart to pursue us. Revelations 3.20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. The God of heaven and earth is passionately pursuing you right now. No matter how close you are to him, he is knocking on the door of your heart, asking to come in and meet with you once again. He simply wants to love you. Dear Jesus, I thank you so much for your initiating the relationship that we have with you. You initiated it. You, you are pursuing us. And uh, just thank you so much for that, for that love that you have for us. Would you help us to receive? Help us to receive the love that you have for us. Help us to um, also give it out to others, Lord God. It's in your holy name we pray. Amen. God, I look to you, I won't be overwhelmed, give me vision, to see things like you do, God, I look to you, you're where my help comes from, give me wisdom, Know just what to do, yeah. I will love you, Lord, my strength. And I will love you, Lord. 
Just what to do. 